Hey everybody, welcome to the video. It's Wednesday, June 30th, and we're breaking down this 10-game main slate that we have over on DraftKings today. And it's looking like a pretty solid slate, especially for the offenses. The pitching, it is what it is. I think these guys are overpriced for the most part, like Chris Bass is only $11,000, Nola's about ten k, Luis Garcia is nearly $10,000. Just feel like they're a bit overpriced, but we have to work with what DraftKings gives us. But the offenses, they're looking pretty fun tonight. We got the Blue Jays in a good spot. We have the Houston Astros, who feel like they've been on fire. I know they weren't great last night, but they've been on fire for the past couple weeks, it feels like. And they get to face Matt Harvey tonight. Unfortunately, not in Camden Yards, but still, it's Matt Harvey, and he's pretty much throwing BP out there these days. So it's looking like a fun day for the offenses, so I'm definitely more excited to talk about the bats tonight. But if you do find this video helpful in any way possible, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me over on social media if you feel like you want to do that. And if you want to help support the channel over on Patreon, link is down below in the description to get access to all the extra content. Although wait until tomorrow if you want to do that since it is the first of the month. But I think that's pretty much it for the plugs for the most part. So without further ado, let's dive into today's video. And as per usual, we'll start with the pitchers and move on to the bats. And like I was mentioning in the intro, these guys are a little bit more expensive than I'd like them to be. But there's really no good cheap pitching options today. I will mention the one guy down low that I might have a little bit of interest in is Bailey Ober, but I didn't feel confident enough to put him on the sheet here. But I think Bailey Ober might be a viable guy, but just got to be a little bit careful for, for him because I don't like the matchup versus the White Sox. But anyway, we'll start up top with Chris Bassett, $10,500. We have the Bassett Hound here. And, you know, I just feel kind of gross paying nearly $11,000 for him. I used him versus the Angels. It feels like that was a month ago. He had a complete game. I feel he had a complete game shutout. Absolutely killed it. But, man, he is getting very expensive right now. And his numbers don't really justify that price tag. I mean, a 25% K rate is okay. The x and Sierra are close to four. The ERA is fine. But, my goodness, we're paying $10,500 for a guy that's got a four x this season. And the strikeout rate's not even <laughs> around 30%. Like, it's up there, but it's not... I mean, Otani's at 33%. He's only 8700 bucks. Like, I don't know. It just feels like a tough price tag. For Chris Bassett, but I like the matchup here versus Texas. I mean, Caprillion did fine versus them yesterday. I know they're kind of worse versus lefties compared to righties, but it's still an overall soft matchup versus the Rangers. They don't uh, possess a ton, a ton of power in their lineup, so I'm not really concerned about that. And plus, Bassett doesn't really give up much power. It's only a 131 ISO given up this season. Plus, he doesn't walk a lot of guys, which is always nice. At less than a homer per nine, only a 27% hard contact rate. And like I was mentioning, pretty soft matchup versus the Rangers, although they are better versus righties compared to lefties, but still striking out over a 25% clip. 150 ISO, 302 Wilbur, and a 92 WRC+. Plus. Pitcher from the park in Oakland, low team toll against him. I think he's a fine, safe play. I just don't like that price point. And then Aaron Nola, $10,200. It's a good matchup versus Miami. They don't really have a ton of power versus righties. The one issue here is that it's going to be really hot in Philly. I think I looked, it was, last time I looked, it was around 95 degrees, plus the wind's blowing out. So I think that's definitely a boost for the bats here. I think some of the Phillies bats do make some sense versus Holloway on Miami. But I still think Aaron Nola should be fine. I don't think he's going to get blown up here versus Miami. But they would make for a decent contrarian stack, stacking against Aaron Nola, if you think that weather can get to him. But his numbers are solid this season, 3.39 XFIP, or Sierra, I should say, 3.46 XFIP, 20.3% K rate. Walk rate's pretty low. He will give up a little bit of hard contact, though, 34% and over a homer per nine. But the matchup versus the Marlins should kind of negate that. Only a 135 ISO this season, 295 Woba, and over a 25% K rate. So if you want to save 300 bucks from Chris Bassett, I feel like Aaron Nolan makes some sense. I just worry about the weather a little bit because of how hot it's going to be, plus the wind should be going out a little bit. So I guess those are slight concerns, but he should be fine nonetheless. Luis Garcia, 9900 bucks, Very expensive. And he's getting a little bit lucky this season, considering his X up in Sierra, about a run higher than his ERA. But it's a pretty soft matchup versus the Orioles. I know they had a fantastic night last night, but maybe they just got all the runs out of them last night. So don't really think that's going to happen again. Only a 3.43 implied team total for the Orioles here. Extremely heavy favorite. I mean, anytime you're pitching against Matt Harvey, you should be the favorite. Six and a half K prop. And like I said, ERA is around 2.8, which is good. But the X pips around four. The Sierra's in the upper threes. But the 27.4% K rate's pretty good. Does walk some guys, and he will give up some fly balls, but the hard contact rate's a little bit lower at 30%, about a homer per nine. But the Orioles this season versus righties, versus lefties, they've actually been pretty good. Like a 112 WRC plus versus lefties, 333 Wobe, and a 170 team ISO. But versus righties, those numbers fall off a cliff. 25% K rate, 147 team ISO, 286 Wobe, and an 81 WRC plus. So I want to save a little bit more money with Luis Garcia. I'd have no issue with that whatsoever. Pretty good matchup as a righty versus the Orioles. And it's better to be pitching in Houston than it is Camden Yards. 
And Shohei Otani, 8700 bucks, like just pretty much the best player in baseball, man. He went double dong yesterday. Felt like he almost went triple dong on the one, although he flew out to the center field. But it looked like it was going to be gone for a little bit. The crowd's reaction had me going because I was watching that at bat. But, man, what, what can't the guy do, man? He has a, He's under a three-year rate this season, over a 30% K rate. He's got, what, 28 or 29 homers on the season now? I mean, the guy is just absolutely insane. And, yes, it's a tough matchup here versus the Yankees. They have a ton of power, but they also strike out quite a bit as well. So that's where I'm kind of having some interest in Shohei Otani. Plus, there's really no other good SP2s today. Steven Matz would be viable, but the problem is he's going to be on a pitch count, and last time he had like a, he had like 60-some pitches, so I can't imagine he's going to be like touching 90s, maybe even upper 80s. If he's in like the mid-70s, like that's okay at his price point, 8100 bucks versus Seattle, but this kind of limits his upside. But do you like the spot here for Otani to strike out wise because the Yankees will strike out around a 25% clip versus right-handed pitching. The problem is they walk a lot. They have power. They have a good WRC plus. They have a good Woba. But Otani's just been a really good pitcher this season. The walk rate is a bit of an issue. 12.5%, but that comes with a 33% K rate, less than a 200 batting average given up, only a 118 ISO given up. A lot of ground balls and less than a homer per nine. So if you think the strikeout's going to be there for Otani, I think he makes sense at 8700 bucks. I don't love that there's a five implied team total against him. He is an underdog here, and it is Yankee Stadium with the greatest pace, place to pitch. But at 8700 bucks, given the other options we have, I think Otani is definitely a viable SP2. Plus, he's a fun guy to roster. Like, the guy is just, it's Otani, man. It's showtime. I mean, it's just so fun to watch him play. It's an absolute treat. So I think he is viable below 9K, 2.58 ERA, 3.3 XFIP, and just some pretty good numbers. Although, again, the matchup versus the Yankees scares me, especially in Yankee Stadium, but I think he should be fine. I think that's it for the pitching, so let's move right over to the bats. And like I was saying earlier, the bats are a lot more fun to talk about than the pitching on this slate, in my opinion, because there's a lot of good offensive spots today. But we'll start up top with the catcher position. We have Salvador Perez, $5,200. I'm surprised the Royals are, their team total is not around 5. It's at 4.67, which is still pretty good. I can see that rising throughout the day. Just thought it was a little bit lower than it should be versus Martin Perez, who I don't really think is that great of a pitcher. Plus, on the road, you get the guaranteed ninth inning of bats. They're getting in Fenway, which is a hitter-friendly park. Thought it'd be a little bit higher than it is, but I, that's not going to really stop me from liking the Royals today. I think they're a pretty decent stack. And Salvi Perez has been one of the best hitting catchers in baseball the past couple of years, betting 281 with over a 230 ISO this season. And Martin Perez is just not a very good pitcher. So definitely think you can use some of these Royals righties versus the lefty. JT Romuto, $4,300 versus Jordan Holloway. Can't imagine he's going to be in the game long, but the Phillies, man, they're in a good spot weather-wise. Like I was mentioning with Aaron Nola, it's going to be over 90 degrees here in Philadelphia. It's going to be windy, should be blowing out, so it's definitely a bump for the bats. And Real Muto is not that expensive, 4300 bucks. He's about $1,000 cheaper than Salvador Perez. He hasn't shown quite the power that Perez has this season, but still, 181 ISO and a 280 batting average for a catcher is not that bad. So for 4300 bucks, definitely have some interest in Real Muto. I'd imagine the Phillies run total is going to be close to five today. So definitely think that's a decent price for him. You just want to roster the cheap catcher versus Matt Harvey. Just try to get cheap exposure to Houston because for the most part, these guys are pretty expensive today. So Martin Monado, 2800 bucks. He's actually been getting some decent amount of points recently for GFS purposes. So 2800 bucks. I think Monado is fine if you just want a cheap exposure to Matt Harvey. Dropped down to first base, we have Vladimir Guerrero, 5900 bucks. Unfortunately, we can't roster Otani today as a batter. So that leaves us as the other best hitter in baseball, Vlad, today. <laughs> Going up against Justin Sheffield, who's not a very good pitcher. You get a righty on the matchup here. And the Blue Jays have a team total of 6.3 today. And Vlad has been nothing short of awesome this season. 343 ISO, 200 WRC+, plus, 340 batting average, 468 Woba. He crushes lefties. He crushes righties. He's been pretty much the second best player in baseball this season. If you had the money for Vlad, he's one of the top options on the entire slate. Yuli Gurriel, 5100 bucks. Again, just getting guys versus Matt Harvey. You're going to see a lot of Astros here. Pretty much every single Astro, maybe besides Abraham Toro Straw. But this offense is definitely in a really good spot. Plus the Orr's bullpen. Not the greatest out there, so you can roster all these guys. But Yuli Gurriel is kind of like Michael Brantley, where he doesn't have a ton of power. He's got a decent amount of pop. You can definitely hit a homer, but he hits for a really high batting average, doesn't really strike out too much, and I love getting guys that can just put the bat on the ball and make contact and put the ball in play, because that's all we can really ask for for TFS purposes, just give us a chance. And then Hunter Dozier, $3,000. Again, I like the Royals today. Not sure how popular they're going to be, but I like them hitting in Fenway. I like the guaranteed net hitting of bats on the road, and Martin Perez is just not a very good pitcher. I think their team total should be a little bit higher than it is. It might rise throughout the day. I know Dozier's numbers aren't great this season, but he does have pop versus lefties, and He's only $3,000, so I like that price point quite a bit. You can also play him in the outfield. 
Dropping down at second base, we have a couple of spin-up options here in Jose Altuve and Marcus Simeon, both on pretty much the top offenses tonight. Jose Altuve, if you're stacking Astros and you can fit Altuve in, I feel good about that. I think you're on 300 this season with over a 220 ISO. And obviously, we know Matt Harvey sucks. I'll pull up his numbers really quick. I don't think you guys need me to do this. But on the season, Matt Harvey has a 7.5 ERA, 4.8 XFIP, 4.8 Sierra, 16% K rate, allowing a 315 batting average, a 1.7 whip, 379 Woba, over a 200 ISO, and a decent amount of hard contact in homers. So, yes, you can use all the Astros here versus Matt Harvey. Marcus Simeon, 5600 bucks. He's been on fire this season. He had a good night last night. forget exactly what he did, but I know he went deep. I want to see it around 20 to 30 fantasy points and another good night. But, yeah, 242 ice for this season, 280 batting average. I mean, I like all the Blue Jays here versus Sheffield. Pretty shaky pitcher. And they currently have the highest team total in the slate by quite a bit at 6.3. So, yeah, you can load up on the Blue Jays. And it's going to be hard to pick between the Astros and Blue Jays if you want to play three max tonight just to try to make some Blue Jays and an Astros stack so you can get exposure to both. I would have no issue with that because it's really hard to pick between the two offenses tonight. Then Kike Hernandez, $4,000. Looks like he's going to be the new leadoff guy. I know he was leading off for the early portion of the season and he kind of got demoted down near the bottom, but it looks like he's going to be back to leading off here and he even led off versus a righty yesterday. So I think it's safe to assume he'll be the leadoff guy here, 4000 bucks. I think he makes sense here versus the lefty and just like getting exposure to the Boston bats. I know we haven't talked about any yet, but they're definitely one of the better offenses to stack tonight. They were on fire yesterday. I think like the first four guys got on until JD tried to get, no, the first three guys got on, but JD tried to lay out a double and ended up getting caught, I believe. But yeah, they had a good night last, last night. It's kind of cooled off at the end there, but definitely like all the Boston Red Sox here quite a bit versus Mike Miner, who's not a bad pitcher, but a lot of these guys do make some sense tonight. Kike is really not that expensive. I'm dropping out third base. We have Raphael Devers, 5,300 bucks. Don't like that it's a lefty on lefty matchup, but he'll probably see a righty at some point. And even then, I'm not totally against using Devers in lefty on lefty matchups. Just really only something I would do in tournaments. Wouldn't do that in cash games, but just like all the Boston bats. Manny Machado, 5,100 bucks. Third base is not a good position today, so I'll probably just spend down once again with Rivera. And assuming he's back in the lineup, I know he got hurt yesterday, ended up having to leave early on. If he's not in the lineup, we could look at Abraham Toro. As a cheap option, but anyway, Manny Machado, 5100 bucks. The Padres are a good stack today. The problem is they're just kind of expensive. Cronenworth's expensive. Tatis is obviously Manny Machado is above 5K. Will Myers, Tommy Pham. I mean, it's not the easiest team to stack, but team total 5.7 here. It's definitely a hitter friendly park and definitely a park boost going from Petco to Grand American Small Park in Cincinnati. Always humid and buggy this time of the season as well, so it's always going to be a boost for the bats and. Team 12.5.7 is not that bad. I prefer Machado versus lefties, but if you're stacking the Padres, I think he makes sense. But I'm kind of hoping Rivera's back in the lineup. 200 bucks, he just opens up some things. It's a cheap righty on lefty matchup versus Martin Perez. So let's just cross our fingers he's in. If he's not in, you can kind of substitute him for Abraham Toro. He's 3,500 bucks, not quite as cheap, but great matchup versus Matt Harvey. Dropping out a shortstop to T, 6,200 bucks. If you got the money for him, pretty much the best play on the slate any single given day for the most part unless Otani's playing or Vlad but Tatis is right up there with him and his numbers have been absolutely video game numberish this season Bang on 300 404 ISO 183 WRC plus 697 slugging over a thousand OPS and the only thing he did last night was had a single and walk but I mean he just kind of did enough where he got runs and stuff where he still had 11 fantasy points so even though he kind of has a mediocre game he still puts up fantasy points but if you got the money for Tatis Obviously, makes a ton of sense for me. One of the best overall raw points plays on the slate pretty much every single day, especially when you're on the road in Cincinnati. Then Xander Bogart's 5400 bucks. My plan is to spend up at shortstop tonight, so that's why I did not put a cheap shortstop here because you can spend down at second, first, catcher, in the outfield today. So shortstop is looking like the one spot that I'm definitely spending up on because I don't love the value, and there's just some really good spend up options today. But anyway, Xander Bogart's 5400 bucks. He's been on fire this season, batting around 330 with over a 220 ISO. Didn't exactly do the best last night, but righty and lefty matchup here, like all the Red Sox, quite a bit. I wouldn't say they're my favorite stack. I'd say they're behind the Astros. I would, they're close to the Padres, really, but they're definitely behind the Blue Jays, but, and Marcus Simeon is no longer eligible at shortstop. You could, you could play Bo Bichette here. I wouldn't have an issue with that, but I still like Xander Bogarts here quite a bit. Righty and lefty matchup. Carlos Correa, 5300 bucks. Does anybody and everybody versus Matt Harvey is pretty much the name of the game tonight, if you can afford them. Dropping down to the outfield, we have Jordan Alvarez, $6,000. Pretty much the top home run spot on the entire slate. Maybe outside of Vlad versus Sheffield, but man, Jordan Alvarez is right up there with them. He's batting over 300 this season, over a 230 ISO. It's just a really good spot as a lefty versus Matt Harvey. Like, if anyone's going deep tonight, Jordan Alvarez is definitely near the top of the entire list. 
JD versus a lefty is always going to be in play for me. I mean, he's actually been better versus righties this year compared to lefties, but if you're stacking the Red Sox up, I do like JD Martinez. Bryce Harper, 5300 bucks. Like I was mentioning, there's no team total out yet for the Phillies, but with the temperature, the winds should be blowing out. Jordan Holloway is not that great. I think the it should be close to five. I could be totally wrong there, but my guess would be it'd be close to five. And just a left and righty matchup here, and I do like the Phillies tonight. Then a couple of Toronto outfielders here in Teoscar Hernandez and George Springer. You could also throw in a Gritchick in the consideration as well. But they have a team total of 6.3 tonight. Both these guys do have a decent amount of power versus lefties. So if you can afford the Blue Jays and you're stacking them up, I like these guys quite a bit. Uh, Michael Brantley, Kyle Tucker, a couple of Astros outfielders. Again, Toronto Blue Jays and Houston Astros are going to be the top offenses on the slate for me. And they're all similarly priced. So it's really hard to pick between the two. I'd say raw points wise, the Blue Jays might look a little bit better. And their team total is a little bit higher, but the Astros, man, anytime you can get Matt Harvey on the mound, they're always going to be viable for me, especially the lefties and Michael Brantley, Kyle Tucker, both lefties here. Brantley, just an overall pure hitter, doesn't have quite the power that Kyle Tucker has. He's got a 230 ISO this season, credit Michael Brantley at 162, but man, Brantley's batting around 350 this season with a 390 Woba, 154 WRC plus. Both are fantastic plays. If I had to pick one, I'll prefer Brantley, but I think there's more home run upside with Kyle Tucker. Hunter Renfro. Just a cheaper ready here on Boston versus Mike Miner. Corey Soler, just, I mean, he's been terrible this season, only batting 182 with a 142 ISO. But if you just want cheap ready power versus Perez, I don't hate that. Plus, if you are stacking the Royals, I think he makes sense at that price point. Then Adabel Herrera, 3,400 bucks. He's been leading off for the Phillies. Left hand ready matchup here versus Holloway. His numbers haven't been great this season, but again, I'm kind of making on the weather here. Plus, I think their team total should be close to five, which will definitely give me some interest, especially at 3,400 bucks for Herrera. But with that being said, guys, I think that'll be it for the video. So I hope it was helpful. And if it was, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me over on social media if you feel like you want to do that. And you can help support the channel over on Patreon using the link down in the description. But just make sure you wait until tomorrow because it's the first of the month. But with that being said, guys, I will stop rambling. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next video.